for us it was not about hosting a conference. This was about a journey. Sandbox is a global community of extraordinary young change makers. All over the world we identify young people who make stuff happen, we bring them together and we create a big family out of them. And we wanted to make sure that we could go together through this journey that would really bond people together, but also would allow them to have time for them to reflect upon themselves. We had an incredible group of 70 people here. Sweden, Ireland, Israel, Washington, DC, Egypt, Russia, Indonesia, France, Mexico City. Some of the brightest talents, technology entrepreneurs, social entrepreneurs, designers, artists, poets. I believe that even though people are diverse, they have something in common, which is this passion for, for change and passion for impact. They're building things that have not been there before. They're leading a new path ahead. How do I organize myself? How do I prioritize my life? How do I keep myself sane and, and happy? Where do I find funding? How do I build a team? Many of those people are facing the same questions. But diversity really opens up the spectrum of seeing a perspective on your same problem that you haven't seen before. Very, very inspiring to see those many, many different minds coming together. We've been hosted here at Kundavi. I could not think of a more beautiful place to be. We're looking for platforms where we can bring our people together. And Kundavi is just the perfect platform. Community building is about building trust. It's about bringing people together in a meaningful way. The rules were no phones, no laptops. We all have enough work time. We all have enough connected time. This should be an expedition. We had them work together in different sessions. And we went out camping, out of the environment as they know it. Make breakfast together, build tents together, make fires together, sing together, sleep under the stars. Who's gonna lead the world in 20, 30 years? It's those people. What would have happened if some world leaders had met not just when they're 53, but had met when they're 23, and had kept the friendship alive and had maybe even built something together? What is the strongest bond if everything falls down, it's going to be your family. Literally, you know, so many things are going to change. The world is going to change, technology is going to change, politics are going to change, but what are going to stay the same are relationships. It's going to allow us to make amazing things happen to